Back to the here and now, we are very relaxed. We can, we can, we can start by thinking that the most important thing within our own life is also to be able to forgive ourselves. So to forgive oneself. I forgive myself for all the mistakes that I have done in my life. I forgive myself for having for, for, for not knowing how to take care of myself well in the past before I get to know the Buddha Dhamma. Now I know better. I forgive myself for all my mistakes towards myself. I forgive myself for having hurt or having having caused any problem for anybody else in our life. And I we also hope that other people that other people can forgive us. May everybody that I have hurt before, may they all forgive me. Then we be, when we feel more at home, more at ease, we forgive ourselves because we know we are only human. When we know how to forgive ourselves, then naturally we know how to forgive others. If we think uh, we, are, we, are, we, we don't need to be forgiven by others, we think that everything that we have done is correct, then, then it is very difficult to forgive others. Forgiving oneself and forgiving others, it had already, it had already thrown away uh, a very high percentage, percentage of the burden in our heart. Never mind, we don't actually have to go directly to the people to, to, to ask for forgiveness within our heart. We can always do that and that would have already helped a lot in our life. And of course, if we can, we can always go back to those people that we want to say sorry to and we can learn to say sorry also. Not easy to say sorry. Sorry seems to be the hardest thing, if we can remember Elton John's song. So, I hope everybody um, from tomorrow onwards will be able to find um, 10 to 15 minutes of their time a day to just sit down and close their eyes and just to watch the breath and, and just to relax. Sometimes, if we don't develop a habit of, of just sitting down for just 15 minutes, then we would not have this habit to, to cool our heart. We, we need to have, a, have an oasis to, to cool ourselves in the desert of our, our rush, rush life. So I hope everybody every day either they do it in the early morning or you know if you can get up like uh, 20 minutes earlier then you can have have 15 minutes to just sit quietly and just to come back to your body just to keep the mind in the body and just to watch the breath people usually say oh i can't sit i can't meditate and my mind is all over the place that is why we have to sit that is why we learn to sit. We all start to do something in a way that we do not know how to do. That is because we do not know how to meditate, that we should meditate, that we should, that we should learn to meditate. We can always also make an aditana, a kind of, a, a kind of, a kind of promise to ourselves that if we don't sit for at least 15 minutes per day, then we won't have breakfast the next day. So when we don't have the break, our breakfast the next day, so that becomes a kind of motivation for us to do our sitting. So if you if you go to bed very late at night, like eleven, then you if you remember you haven't sit for your you haven't sat for your fifteen minutes, then you have to sit for for the next fifteen minutes before you go to sleep. So then, then